you know, sometimes in times of crisis, there's no other way. See you on the other side. Oh, sorry, dozed off there. Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to my major rant on Inspector Clouseau. Sorry. <sighs> Inspector Clouseau. The third film in the Pink Panther franchise. Although, is it really a film? That's, that's the main question. So, due to unfortunate events, uh, an unfortunate rivalry between Blake Edwards and Peter Sellers, Peter Sellers decided to leave the Pink Panther franchise after only two films, uh, which was the first Pink Panther in A Shot in the Dark. Of course, Sellers would later come back to the franchise, but, um, however, um, they tried to push him to do this film, and he said no, so we got Alan Arkin playing Clouseau. And the story is, well, I say story. I think I think I think the word story is kind of a loose word to use, really. Basically, um, Clouseau is going after a group of robbers who are trying to impersonate him um, with face masks of him and are trying to basically um, frame him for their crimes. And that's essentially all you get from the plot. This movie is a DISASTER! <sighs> no, don't do it. I can't. I have to do it. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Honestly, guys, you will not believe the trash that is this movie that I've just watched. Never before has the word comedy strayed so far away from this franchise. But my God, this movie is a disgrace. To call this an official Pink Panther movie is an insult. To me, this is an unofficial movie. I do not see this as part of the main series. <coughs> and I'm not just saying that because Peter Sellers is not in it. I'm saying it because it's a fucking awful movie on its own. The story, or lack of story, is so terrible. It's, it's you know, it's hardly worth mentioning, the story. Because basically, he's just going after some robbers. I mean, I know, well, I mean, oh, they tr this is meant to be a fun movie, so it doesn't have to be an intricate plot, but you could have you could have come up with something more interesting than this. This is a fucking train wreck. 
It's insulting. What the hell? Come on. And the direction by Bud Yorkin. Well, I can't really talk about it because there is no direction. The movie falls apart. The humour is so awful. I mean, I had like one or two chuckles. Like, <laughs> that was it. That was it. One or two laughs. I'm not even kidding you. And the performance by Alan Arkin. Oh my god. I'm... Oh. Oh. No. No. Just... Sorry about that technical glitch. As I was saying, the performance by... Uh, Alan Arkin... Is so so bad. It is one of the worst performances ever. He tries to do um, an impersonation of Peter Sellers, um, but he does it so much more hammy. He basically, um, he plays Clouseau as Sellers would, like a buffoon and a goof. But with Sellers, there was always that self-containment. He, he would only go so far with the comedy, but he would also rein himself in. Alan Arkin doesn't do that. He goes so over the top. Like, there are times when he's even shouting with other characters. I'm just thinking, God's sake, shut the fuck up. No one cares. I mean, you know, it's not funny. You're not good at anything. You know, he tries to do that funny, you know, tiptoeing walk that he does. And it just completely makes a dog's dinner out of that as well. Um, he's not a good protagonist. Um, there's not enough drama to the story. There's not enough um, plot, really. I mean, this is a movie is 90 minutes long, 95 minutes, and the plot is so thin that you know it, it should have just been a short film, really. It's there's there's not enough for one plot, and the villains are shit. I don't give a shit about the villains. Um, Weaver, uh, Weaver's a decent character, I suppose. Um, Lisa Morel, I mean, Delia Picardo is 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 attractive. I'll give her that, and she does give it. She she's probably the best performance in the movie. Um, but she can't save it. Um, Patrick Cargill as Commissioner Sir Charles Braithwaite. Good. Beryl Reed makes a funny cameo as Mrs. Weaver, the Scottish wife of, uh, uh, of Weaver. Um, although the ending scene is really stupid. I mean, the humour's just so terrible. It's, not even kids will find it funny. That's how bad the humour is. I mean, you know, and, you know, Cluzo just goes on this endless journey... And the film is so slow, it drags forever, and I cannot get into it. I cannot see this as a true Pink Panther movie. I see this as more of a spoof slash parody. I know that the first two films are comedies, but, um, you know, it's... I can't really think of much to say about it. It's really not good. I mean, I suppose the title sequence wasn't bad. And the music score is, is, is decent. But it's not enough. It's not good enough. I mean, the direction is terrible. And there is no, like, sense of production design. The locations are decent. There's a there's a, there's a pretty awful chase at the end of the movie. Um, the end of the movie just... I mean, the story doesn't go anywhere. Like, it doesn't really... Uh, it doesn't go anywhere. And the problem with the villains plan is the fact that the villains are trying to impersonate Clouseau to try and frame him um, for all these dastardly crimes and yet they make face masks of Clouseau okay fair enough that works but yet none of them uh, take on his mannerisms none of them try to impersonate him uh, vocally they, they don't none of them try to do a, a French accent or anything like that um, and they, they play him completely straight like this oh I'm Inspector Clouseau how are you doing top of the morning to you a nice bit of brandy with that like, surely, you give the game away first of all by not doing that. So, you know, the joke's on you for not doing that. So, did you really think your plan was going to work? Really? Honestly, it fucking disgusts me, this film. It's just... It's so disappointing. It really is so disappointing. Um, there's too many villains in the group as well. Um... Just the humor's cringy. It's so fucking terrible. It doesn't work. Um, the scene when Cluzo is getting his face um, masked up is is also terrible. Um, don't see this movie, guys. It's not an official Pink Panther movie. I do not see it as that. 
Um, it's a it's a soulless, cheap, um, you know, false Pink Panther movie. Um, Sellers is the true Pink Panther. No one else could play this role. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Excuse me. Oh, hay fever. Uh, well, I'm just allergic to this film. Um, I really have nothing else to say. So, I'm sorry it's been a short video, but... I'm going to give this film... I am going to give it... Minus... 0 0.5... 987541 out of 10. Yeah. Why not let it have its own fucking rating? I can't be fucked. <laughs> this movie was on Netflix. That's how I watched it. I'm glad I didn't pay to see this. That's the only good thing about this. Um, honestly, I, I, I just... I do not know what else to say. It's just a disaster. And it all comes down to that central performance and the direction. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Um, thank god the franchise would improve after this. But yeah, that's my brief major rant on... Um, Inspector Cluzo. Stay tuned for future videos and reviews. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'm Mr. Tyler11. See ya.